Hello everyone again. Um, I have a little update here. It is uh, quite an amazing update. Um, I have to give a shout out to uh, Dark Sword Armory. So if you go online and you search for Dark Sword Armory Sword Reviews, there aren't that many of them. And if they are out there on YouTube, um, a lot of them aren't that positive. A lot of the early Dark Sword weapons um, bent and um, just wrecked in various ways and uh, made certain people disgruntled and made them make some unpleasant videos on YouTube online. The uh, number one takeaway from it is though that Dark Sword Armory has always, from a customer service level, replaced the weapons or done the best they can to, to solve the problem. I posted, uh, which is uh, down below, uh, there's a link, um, I posted a video just recently where I uh, reviewed um, the Vise Count uh, sword I used to own. And I owned it for nearly five years, somewhere over four years. It could have been um, over five years. Um, and I'd done light cutting with it, and then I just recently started doing heavy cut with it, cutting with it, and it uh, built, at, um, it bent, sorry, at the uh, cross guard. Now, I wasn't too worried about that. I had had the sword for such a long time. I um, understood it was some of their earlier models, and um, I didn't expect anything out of it. I just gave a sword review, and in that review, if you watch below, I said it was one of my favorite swords I own, and it was unfortunate that it bent. Um, shortly after I posted that video, I was actually on an airplane, and I got a call from uh, Dark Sword Armory. Um, couldn't take the call, and then I got an email, and in that email, they apologized and said, our swords shouldn't do that, they shouldn't bend there, that shouldn't happen. We're going to replace your sword. I actually was pretty blown away by that. I, I would have expected that sort of service a year, maybe two, maybe two years after owning a sword. Um, but they contacted me after four to five years of owning a sword. There was no reason for them to contact me. Absolutely zero reason for them to contact me. But yet they did. And here I am. I've got a new... Vise account sword that just arrived today, and I'm pretty darn happy about it. Before I get into the, the new sword, you get, uh, with Dark Sword Armory, they give you this really nice envelope. I don't know if you can see the etching here of their, their symbol. Um, you get this, and within it, you just get some information about your sword. And within it, you actually get a, a warranty card with it. So not only does... Dark Sword Armory, you know, listen to their customers and help their customers out. They actually do give you warranty. And I actually, from a lot of my other swords, like Cold Steel, you don't get warranties with those swords. Um, so that's actually a really cool thing. And then you just get other informational things, how to tie the knot on your belt properly, uh, save $25 on the next purchase, that sort of thing. So that's, that's really cool. Um, plus the sword actually came with this nice little tip guard if you have it outside, if you want to put the tip down on something. And um, I thought that was really cool. I'm going to use that, actually. Um, so, once again, I, I'm just going to say, I'm, I'm super impressed with their customer service and the fact that they would contact me and replace the sword after that period of time. So, um, the sword itself is um, newly made. It wasn't off their shelf because they don't, um, I'm assuming they don't carry too much of this sword anymore. It was <laughs> such a long time ago I ordered it. But the sword itself in my opinion, is just as beautiful as what, as I mentioned in the video below, was my favorite sword I owned. Um, and this is still, to this day, my favorite sword. So there's a slight difference in the blade from uh, the original, um, just from unboxing right away, is it is slightly pointier now. Um, the other one had a slightly wider tip, and it was a little bit more, uh, less of a pronounced um, sharp tip. So the blade is uh, slightly different. Um, the sword itself uh, has about the same balance, and the reason why I like the other sword is, is how well it cut through the air, and how easy it is to, how mobile it is, and how quick the sword is um, to use. Um, still shares the same mobility. I will have to say that the blade does feel like it has a bit more heft, though, to it than the other one, particularly in this area of the sword. And I'm wondering if that has something to do with one of the areas that they've improved on the sword, hopefully, is around the uh, tang and cross guard and whatnot where the swords used to bend. 
So that's what I'm going to be testing quite rigorously. So this is really just an unboxing and a huge shout out to Dark Sword Armory saying like, good on you. Like, this is amazing. I did not expect this after this period of time. Um, you have to give them respect. Regardless of the videos that are out there, uh, no company would do this. I mean, you think about buying a car or something like that and something goes wrong with it. You're not getting a new car, right? You know, think about buying a computer. Think about buying an iPhone. Think about buying anything out there. If something goes wrong with it in five years, they stick the middle finger at you and go, so too bad, so sad, buy a new one. So to get a new sword after this period of time is amazing. So I'm going to, once again, I'm going to cut with this sword. I'm going to test with the sword. I'm going to cut through mats. I'm going to, I'm going to put this sword through the paces like I do all swords and we're going to see how it holds up. So I'll have a follow-up review coming up on the sword whenever I get time to do that. The weather is pretty crappy right now in Vancouver. Um, it's picking and choosing between rain and really cold temperatures. So once it warms up, I'll probably do some cutting. Outside of that, the sword's got the same craftsmanship, the same type of handle. It, it's very nice. Um, and uh, it did come with a sharpened edge, which I've just practiced a little bit cutting some paper and cardboard. It's fairly sharp. I might just hone it a little bit with like um, maybe a 2000 grit or maybe even a strap on my band, but that's about it. It's pretty much ready to cut out, out of the box. Um, yeah, so shout out to Dark Sword Armory and uh, look forward to the future for my next video. Hopefully I'll be able to do it soon for you guys. Thank you. Um, please subscribe to my videos um, if you like what you see and have a good evening. Thanks. Bye.